Marchons au feu sans effroi, mourons pour Dieu, pour le roi. Marchons au feu sans effroi, vive le roi Vive Dieu, vive Dieu, vive le roi Well, hello, and welcome to the Battle of Caen, 1792, in Normandy, France. This is indeed part two of the Royalist France Let's Play in Napoleon Total War, using the Lamonté de l'Empire 4 mod. As I said, we are loading up with our battle positions. See the Republican French here, they've got some armed citizens. Not really much of a fighting force, but they got some fancy hats. I'll give them that. The what a spiffy looking officer there. That That's pretty much his entire army. He's uh, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven units of armed citizens. Not really much of a fighting force, I'll give you that. And here we have our royalist militia. Again, the ragtag ten cent soldiers. That will bring us glorious victory, I hope. There they are. Nothing to write home about whatsoever. But our bread and butter of our army is currently our fusiliers of the line look at those hats look at the, i think they've all they've all got curled wigs yeah that, that's very royalist isn't it very very royalist indeed here we have claude perry and ricotti we are going to bring him over here he is going to be assisting our left flank there's a lovely hill here. We're going to want to try and use that with as much opportunity as we can. So let's, let's spread our line out. There we go. That's good. Put all our militia on guard mode. Here we have our fusiliers. Where are we going to want to use our fusiliers the most? I think we should try and use them to flank them on the right. On our right, that is, his left. Because on our left, we got this fantastic hill, and using militia, we can probably use that hill to our advantage and be successful. So we're going to go ahead and plop our fusiliers over here in column, and we're going to use them to flank around the side here. Flanking is everything in this. It, it's extremely important and vital to winning. So, select our militia here and start the battle. Let's see, what's a good spot here? Let's just advance entirely. A general advance, as it were. Fusiliers. Could just come right up the, the the other end here. Let's see. Some fancy little things we got here. Look at those flags. Wonderful. That's that's everything right now. Boy, they're they're trying to go for it too, aren't they? They're walking. This flank. I'm gonna run the left flank. We'll bring our general around here as well. He's gonna be useful in trying to flank them. No, it's not good to run your troops, they get tired, but the faster we gain this high ground, the more advantage we have to winning the battle. That's very true. Very true indeed. Looks like... We can move up our right flank. We can potentially envelop him here in an entire surrounding maneuver. Yeah. The fight in the woods is going to be very heavy. Very heavy, it always is. Hmm. But we must remember that the accuracy in here is drastically, drastically changed. They're no longer as accurate as they are in vanilla, vanilla uh, Napoleon. Let's see, let's get off a nice volley, men. Militia, open fire. Glorious. Oh, wonderful. We're doing some fantastic damage there actually let us bring this unit more around here that's good envelop him oh brilliant 
Brilliant, look at that. That, that unit's morale is absolutely destroyed. Our flank is doing fantastic. Where is he here? Oh, he's here. Oh, well, come on, boys. Get a better position on him than that. Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is just great. This has to be the best positioning we could get. We have our fusiliers down here. I want to try and make sure their units stay routed. Because if they're broken, they're just going to return. Let's see. We can advance this. Try and gain some more ground here while maintaining that, that high advantage. Let's try and bring our general around here. See if we can catch him. Ah. He is indeed attempting to engage us. I think he's going to beat us to position here. Ah, yes. Good, good, good. Come on. Let's go run down those running men. Fantastic. We're pushing him back. That's great. So what we're going to do is move up these men like this. They're broken. Only got 187 men left. Use our general to run them down. But I'll give our general experience too. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! No sir, you are mistaken. Our general is taking the attack to the enemy. Oh, what is this? Just walking right into our volley fire here. That, that's glorious. They're broken. Right? Just give them a charge. Wonderful. This flank is doing very well. As it should do. We got him in the flank. That's great. These are still just broken. Continue running them down. Wonderful, we got him here. We got him on the run. The fusiliers are still coming around. Flank him. Let's bring up these. Bring up these men. You're doing extremely well, boys. Extremely well. How are we doing here? Come on. Why are the trees buggering you up entirely. There you go. Right into the midst of them. That's how you do it. <laughs> I think he's actually trying to go after my general. Do you believe this guy? He's trying to chase my general. No, that's not very nice indeed. That, that's not well played, you know. What We're going to continue to have you chasing him. Yeah, that'll be our general. Used his ammunition up there. How are we doing here? Splendid, they've been shattered. Try and get as many off as possible. What are you doing? I'm going to bring you around to the, my left. Now we've pushed him into a bit of a funny position here. We've got the hill against us now, so we're not going to keep around here for long. Let's move. Move ourselves. You. Like this. General, get out. Yeah, we've run them down enough. You just keep chasing him. That's his general in there. Try and get him. If they're trying to come after mine, we'll go after theirs. Works both ways, boys. Oh, jeez, that's close. Don't do that, don't do that. Run out of there, your cavalry. You can beat him away. If 
Very good. Go this way. Readjust our flank. This is just one of those fights, you know. We can advance on him here too. It's good. Just surround him. That's good. Bring your boys around here. And bring our general back behind the line and try and inspire our men on the left. We've still got a great position. And we get the first shots off on him here. Look at that. They're taking severe losses in their, their center. Let us reposition you like so. And then you two, as such, to cut their retreat. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Yes, yes, we know. This will give some good exercise, lads. How's this? We've chased them off the map. That's good. Bring you back round. Fusiliers, we need you over here. Both of you, if you please. Thank you. Very good. Let's just fill up that bit of a spot there. Look at the casualties. That's great. Like seeing that. Our general is inspiring our men. This is a bloody battle. Look at that. Their morale is shaken, wavering. They're on the run. Brilliant. That frees up our troops in the center to advance more on their flank as such and take more of the high ground. I want this high ground. This is mine. Bring these men around the flank more. Have our general support them so that they don't even think about wavering. Oh, what's happening here? Okay, form yourselves up here. Get you around the flank on them. Our fusilier is coming along here. Come on up, boys. We've got the shots off on them. Okay, we know what we're gonna do here. Bayonet them. Perfect. You. Charge him. Our men over here are fine. Let's bring these up. Right, they're running. Charging on him. It's just them left. Let's use our general. Try and take down them. Reform our line here. Oh dear. Reform these. We've got him surrounded in the woods here. These men, these men are broken still. Where's General? He's here. Ride down those broken men. But preferably get out of their fire. Just run right through, please. Oh. We have them in the rear here. And that's that. We've defeated their force. And now, it's just a matter... 
continue the battle. I want to run them down entirely. Run them down, lads. Finish them off. There we go, we've caught them there. We want to try and destroy as many of them as possible so that they don't come back and we have a better chance of taking the town. The men of the teams must rest them. Of course, there's always ways to do better at destroying more men. Let's go for that bigger unit over there. At 210. That looks like a promising kill. Afraid you're all out of people to kill. Come over here and join us. Ah, did we get them all? Brilliant. Charge, no shooting. Don't want to kill your own men. A nice general advance, is it? The men of fatigue, sir, I must rest a while. Yes, yes, we know. Come after them. On to them. Try and get as many off as possible. Oh, there we go. Close victory. Right. We won the Battle of Khan. Let's take a look at the statistics here. Our general. Our general killed 263 men. That unit. Oh, my. One of our militia killed 301. Yeah, that's a, those are our two highest kills. And uh, third top place, another militia unit killing 149. Which unit took the most losses? One of our militia. We lost 39 men. So pretty satisfying results. I think we only, we only lost 138 men. I think we minimized our losses as much as possible there. But their garrison does still exist, and I need to crush it. Right, here we are on our next turn. An admiral's available, that's not very useful, is it? We have another general. It's good, but we don't need him right now. Oh, hello, who's... Is this Nelson? Yes, it is, Nelson's Navy. Do your bit, boys. Do your bit. Let's bring these fusiliers that we've just gotten finished recruiting in Bordeaux down to our Toulouse sieging force. Those fusiliers down there are quite nasty, aren't they? Yeah. Let's, uh... More fusiliers down there. Up here, we're getting more fusiliers. We've gotten another unit, actually. We'll bring these up to our sieging army and con. Here's one turn to surrender. Although... I think we're just gonna attack him. Take that out now. Not much left there. Where are you, people... I don't know why you're a bit unhappy. That's not nice. But, doesn't matter really. We need to start recruiting cavalry. That is something we really need to do. Do we want Chasseurs à Cheval or Hussars? Hussars. They're good melee cav. Oh, they can shoot too. Oh. Well, damn me. Melee attack is 10 on the Chasseurs. They're far, su far superior than the Hussars, in every way. What's the upkeep like? Same. Ah, let's go for the Chasseurs. Yeah. And they're cheaper. They're cheaper than Fusiliers. Cavalry and artillery are vital in this. They, they really are. And we can upgrade a road. That's good. We can finally upgrade to cobbled roads in Bordeaux. That's what we need. Sieging them down here. I bet they're going to attack me next when we end the turn here. But we're going to go ahead and finish off this little force here in Normandy. This shouldn't be a big battle, I don't think. Should be alright. Yeah, they only got 580. Uh, they will surrender. Demand them. Brilliant. Brilliant. Settlement captured. We've captured Normandy. They surrendered. Oh, look at that army in Paris. Look at that. Oh my god. 
Unfortunately, they're occupying one of my little towns here. It's another silly dockyard. They're occupying it, though. Wow. Well, that's fantastic, that is. And we're going to go ahead here and end the turn on that brilliant note. And as I suspected, they are attacking us in Toulouse. We have Guillaume de Villeneuve with 3,336 men. We outnumber the Republican forces of Lawrence Lanes with 1,959 to bow stone He's only got one regular unit, these Fusiliers. But our Fusiliers are better. They are indeed. Our morale is better by two extra points. That's pretty good. Our morale is six, theirs is four. That's looking good for us. Let's go ahead and fight the Battle of Toulouse. I'll see you on the field. Vive le roi! Vive Dieu! Vive Dieu! Vive le roi!